The main reason why I don't like this speaker right here, or I don't really care for it, I do like it, it's a nice speaker, is because What is up guys, it is DJ Rick Webb, and as you guys have already seen, today we're diving into the JBL Eon One Compact. Now, if you can't tell, I'm in the garage right now, and if you can't tell from the hearing, or I don't know if the audio will pick it up, but it's currently raining outside right now, and I'm also a little bit wet right now, so there's that. But this right here is the JBL Eon One Compact. I've actually had this thing now since uh, like November, December, and straight up the main reason for that is because this thing pretty much let me down when it came to my expectations for what it could do. Now before I get into that reasoning, let me tell you guys what the JBL Eon One Compact is. In short, the JBL Eon One Compact is basically the bigger brother of the Bose S1. It's got an 8-inch woofer on the front and basically it's got the same sorts of inputs and outputs as the Bose S1. In terms of the mixer, we have combo XLR quarter inch jacks. We have two of them that are mic or line switchable. We have a line input for possibly a guitar quarter inch input. We also have an aux in a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or an 8 inch is another term for that. And it's got a quarter inch pass through so you can link it to another speaker if you would wish. As well as there is a headphone jack for monitoring if you're going to use this for like a ceremony to mix the music. It's got two USB outputs if you want to like charge a phone or charge an iPad at the ceremony. That's an awesome feature that this has as well. And in terms of the mixer portion, we basically have a battery indicator. We have our channel select. We can adjust the gain, the treble, the bass on all the functions. We have phantom power for both of those mic and line inputs. We have ducking and we have Bluetooth, which is awesome. And even cooler than that, there's actually an app for the speaker that you can control all of the functions of the mixer from your device. So from your iPad, from your smartphone, you can control the whole entire mixer section, which is actually pretty cool. The whole entire speaker weighs just under 18 pounds. Uh, it's like 17.6 pounds in total. Got a little LED on the front to indicate that it's on. Got a handle on the top. There's also a little tablet slot here that you can slide a device into. JBL claims that it'll do 112 dB of maximum output. Uh, yeah, right. No, it does not do 112 dB. That's that's an artificial number. I, I've never got 112 in my testing, but um, that's what they claim. But one of the coolest features is the battery life and the removable battery. They claim that you can get 12 hours of battery life on the speaker, and they are not lying. This speaker will do 12 hours of battery life, no problem which is freaking amazing. And the battery itself is removable. You just unscrew this little hand screw right here, takes the cover off, and then you can pop the battery right out from inside the speaker. But that's your battery pack. You can technically buy extra battery packs. They have them for sale. And you could chain these and you could go for hours and hours and days on end. If you're doing a marathon 24 hour event, you can do it these. Basically just swap your batteries out, easy, ready to go. But I know everyone wants to know how loud and how does it sound. So I'm gonna power it up real quick and I'm gonna give you guys a nice little demonstration. Now I do want you to keep in mind in this demonstration as this thing will connect, it just connected my phone. That's one dope thing. It automatically connects to the last device that you have connected. So I've basically been using this as like a shop speaker or a work site speaker. Basically, I take this wherever I'm working. I've been doing an installation project down in Charlotte for the last like month and a half. Been down there multiple days now. Uh, you guys have probably seen it on Instagram. It's a new wedding venue basically, and we're putting in a sound system, but they're under construction, so it takes time. But I've been using this thing basically to jam out while on site, and it lasts the whole entire day, no problem and it gets pretty loud. So, I'm gonna pull up some music now and let's see how loud it gets, which is actually pretty loud, to be honest. Let's go. We see the eyeballs, right for now. So, so yeah, it, get, it gets pretty loud and it's not 112 decibel loud. 112 decibels, if you guys don't know, is actually like insane for a speaker to do 112 decibels. My SRX series speakers can't even do 112 decibels at one meter. There ain't no way in hell this can do 112 decibels at one meter. But uh, in, in the purpose of my measuring, I got a maximum, a maximum. I'm, ta I'm taking like, it's, it was on clip the whole time at, at um, one meter or three feet out 
I got 98 decibels. I was able to somewhat get 100, but I'm pretty sure I was closer than a meter when I did that, but right around 98 to 100 decibels is what you can expect at clip with this thing. So now you might be asking, Rick, why do you not like the speaker? Why, why did you not make the video? Why did you not like it? The main reason why I don't like this speaker right here, or I don't really care for it, I do like it, it's a nice speaker, is because I've been spoiled. I've had this, the LD Systems Maui 5 goes. I own two of them. I've been using them for ceremonies for the last two years. I've even used them as cocktail speakers. I've even used them to DJ wedding receptions. I've used two of these for very small, like 50 person wedding receptions. These things are professional. They have crystal clear output. Oh my God, don't even get me started. The output on the, those highs is amazing. It sounds awesome. It's great. It's got an eight inch sub on the ground level that literally will punch you in the face in terms of a battery powered speaker. This right here is the ultimate battery powered speaker. I'm straight up, like I've tried all of them. I've heard the Bose S1. I've heard the JBL Eon 1 Compact, which is slightly better. But this right here, this is, this is the best speaker and it's so portable. That's the best part about it. These three columns go right into the bag right here. I haven't even made a review on this speaker either. That's the sad part. LD Systems Maui 5 Go, when you're comparing the two of them, keep in mind, I've been spoiled. I've had that speaker now for over two years using it for most of my events. I literally take it to every single event. It's my backup of my backup. If we lose power at the event, I know I can plug this thing in. It can get eight to 10 hours of battery, no problem. I can Bluetooth my phone and save the day, no problem. I can hook up a wired mic and take the thing anywhere. It's great. The, the JBL Eon 1 Compact, I was expecting it to do that, which is not fair. The JBL Eon 1 Compact is like a $500 speaker. This is a $900 speaker. They're not even in the same category when it comes to that, but in my opinion, if I was going to buy an all-in-one battery-powered speaker that I'm going to use for my ceremonies and use for basically my professional level speaker with good quality output, all the bells and whistles that I need, it's this guy. It's the LD Systems Value 5 Go. It's just awesome. It sounds great. I, I, I'm going on and on. But don't get me wrong. This speaker can do the job. I, I will not deny, and I, I will use this at some ceremonies just to basically get some footage. Obviously, we're not doing ceremonies right now, but... I will use this JBL Eon 1 Compact. I will use it at some ceremonies, maybe at receptions as a side fill or a rear fill or something. But don't get me wrong, the JBL Eon 1 Compact can do the job. No problem about it. And I, I understand why a lot of guys use the Bose S1s. But one thing I noticed is most of them use two. I had no problem with this LD Systems Maui 5 Go doing 200 people at a ceremony. No problem. It's got plenty of output, wide dispersion, covers the whole room, crystal clear all the way through. But I would say it's the same thing with this. You would need two to do like a 200 person wedding. Maybe 100, 125, yeah, you can use one of these, no problem. But for, for me personally, it sounds great, awesome sound. But when you're comparing the two, that, that sounds better. When it comes to this versus the Bose S1, I would 100% get this. They're literally like the same cost, like the Bose S1 in terms of price, I don't know what the price is, it, it varies all the time, I'll link them in the description down below. But if you're looking to get a Bose S1 or you're looking at the JBL Eon 1 Compact, I would strongly recommend getting this speaker. One, because I'm pretty sure it's cheaper, which is crazy. It's got a bigger woofer, it's got an eight inch woofer in it, it's got more features on the mixer as well as the wireless control, which the Bose might have as well, I'm not really sure. I'm not too up to date on the Bose, I just know in terms of features that you're gonna get, you're gonna get more with this guy. You're gonna get more bang for your buck. It does come in at two pounds heavier, and that's mostly because it's got a bigger woofer. It's a little bit bigger of an enclosure, but I mean, it's, it's 17 pounds, 100% manageable. It does have a pole slot on the bottom. It does have an angle to do it as a monitor, which is great. But yeah, that's, that's actually pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to kind of jump on here because in the garage tour, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I basically showed this speaker and I was like, I haven't even made a video on it. And it was the most requested product in the garage for me to make a video on. I guess now I need to make a video on the LD Systems Maui 5 Go because I never really made a full video on this. It was in my ultimate ceremony rig because it's a battery powered speaker. And it's, it's dope, it's awesome, super loud, great quality output, all that good stuff. Love that speaker, can't say enough good things about that speaker. But this right here, the JBL Eon 1 Compact, and you can see it's actually pretty scratched up because, um, like I said, this is my shop speaker, this is my worksite speaker. Basically, wherever I'm going, if I need audio, if I'm going to go hang out with my boys, I take this speaker. So, I guess in that sense, if you are looking for a battery-powered speaker that gets really loud 
and you can take literally anywhere. Like you can take this thing to the beach, you can take it to a party, you can take literally, I mean, it's super small. You can throw it in any car or whatever you want and it's got 12 hours of battery. What party lasts more than 12 hours? That That's one feature of this speaker that's really dope in terms of what it can do. With that said though, I mean, it does cost $500. So maybe it's not the best uh, option for that. There's definitely a lot cheaper speakers that can probably achieve that output. It's a great little speaker. It does sound great. I've just been spoiled with way better speakers that cost more money. So that's my personal opinion. So if you're in the market for a battery powered speaker and you're on the budget, pick up the JBL Eon One Compact. If you're willing to spend a little bit more money and get yourself a badass speaker system, LD Systems Maui 5 Go is a great option. The Bose S1, also a great option. They're all great options for battery powered speakers. So if you guys like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up uh, leave down in the comment section down below what do you guys think of these speakers are you guys using a battery powered speaker maybe the Bose S1 what's your opinions what's your thoughts where do you see this technology going do you see it that us eventually having battery powered SRX speakers or PRX series speakers that would be awesome. That would be super dope. Let me know. Comment section down below. Speaking of which, if you would like to support the channel, if you'd like to support what I'm doing on the DJ Rick Webb channel, I now activated the join feature so you can see down below there's a join button and there's multiple different options on there for tier levels with different benefits in each, custom emojis, custom live streams, all sorts of stuff like that that we're going to be doing for the people that join and become a member of the channel. So go ahead, check that out. If you would like to support the channel, support what I'm doing because videos like this, I bought this speaker literally with the intention of making a video on it. That was the whole reason why I bought this speaker. I saw the JBL was coming out, portable speaker, and I was like, I need to have that. I paid more money to pre-order it and make sure I was one of the first people to get it. All to find out that uh, the speaker really wasn't all that it was cracked up to be and I, I didn't feel like making a video on it. So there's that. And uh, also if you'd like to support the channel, clothing. This, uh, this design right here is one of the OG designs. You can't get this design anymore. But DJ Life Clothing, I do limited drops. Basically, we did a winter drop and there's an upcoming summer drop that's gonna be coming. I'm gonna be announcing that very, very shortly with some cool designs. We're basically doing the summer drop. It's gonna be dope. I'm super excited for it, but it's limited runs. Once I make the design and it sells out, they're gone. The next series of designs are gonna come out and when they sell out, they're gone. And then we'll move on to the next one and the next one and the next one. So, if you guys wanna check it out, it is shopdjlife.com. It's linked in the description down below, as well as the first comment. But if you guys don't wanna pay money or anything like that, the biggest thing you can do, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, and like always, my name is DJ Rick Webb, keep the record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.